Just clap it up for yourselves because you look good. He just <laughs> clap it up. So it was a warm, sunny day in May in Dover, Delaware, on the campus of the illustrious Delaware State University. Go Hornets. So it was an awesome day. I'm here to the far left, and I'm surrounded by some of my sorority sisters. We were graduating. It was a great feeling. If you can tell by the picture, I'm usually the one that has all the answers. I'm usually the one that people come to for advice or for some sort of wisdom or wise counsel. However, on this day, this picture does not capture the fact that I was in for a rude awakening. You see, my expectation upon graduation was to step off of the campus of Delaware State University and to step right into my desired career path. However, that wasn't the case. In fact, my first job was at a retail store. Now, it did feed my shoe addiction, but that's besides the point. You see, while I was your local shoe girl at the Christiana Mall, I was also interviewing to get my big break into my career. And I was going on interview after interview after interview, hearing no after no after no. But those no's didn't defeat me. In fact, those no's birthed a new grit inside of me that I didn't know I had. A grit that I noticed that some of my peers didn't have. So much so to the fact that when I was actually given my big break, I not only arrived, I thrived into my career. And I say that unapologetically. Now, I'm sure you can imagine that wasn't my only challenge in life. In fact, let me introduce you to my family. There we go. <laughs> this is my beautiful family. Yes, I have a twin. No, we're not triplets to the far bottom left. We just have very strong genes in my family to the point where it's kind of scary. But yes, we all look alike. And I remember a day specifically, I was at work and I got a scary phone call from my sister. I was at my desk and my sister called me and she said, stop everything that you're doing and pray. You see, what I didn't know is that my sister was at the Christiana Hospital emergency room with my mother eavesdropping, listening to the doctor, tell my mother that they found stage four colon cancer in her body. Now, what was the worst day of my life also turned into a very pivotal moment for my family. You see, if you know us, you know that we're already a family of faith, but this moment birthed a new faith inside of us that I didn't know we had. This moment allowed us to come together and to be stronger together. This moment allowed us to rally around our mother and be the support system that she needed. And y'all can clap it up for my mother. She's still thriving today. Matter of fact, clap it up for my whole family. They're, they're here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chanel S. Reynolds, and I'm here to introduce to you a concept, a concept that I've created and a concept that I've adopted. And I believe that if you adopt it too, it will provide you with some benefits. Some of those benefits include, this concept can help you to navigate through some of life's biggest changes and challenges. Furthermore, this concept may help you to realize that failure presents an opportunity far better than success can. And it can help you to move toward an improved state of mental and emotional wellness. Now, I remember being on the phone with a very good friend of mine. Uh, we're in the same industry. We often catch up. So this was a very organic conversation. We were on the phone, just busting it up, having a good time. He was telling me about the amazing things he was doing. I was telling him about the 5011 projects I had going on. And we were just really catching up. And while we were on the phone, he said something that was so astonishing to me. He said, Chanel, how is it that everything in your life goes well? How is it that you don't take L's? And on the other end of the phone, I'm just like, what? Because what he didn't know 
is that I was going through a phase in my career where I felt like I was failing. What he didn't know is that I felt a sense of emptiness inside. What he didn't know is that I was experiencing one of the biggest L's that I've ever experienced. So I was puzzled as to why he couldn't hear that over the phone. So after we hung up, I did some digging. I sat and I thought and I processed the patterns of how I conceptualized life's failures and challenges and adverse moments. And I wrote down exactly how it is that I'm able to navigate and maneuver through certain things. How is it that I'm able to go through some of life's challenges and I never lose my smile? How is it that I'm able to go through life's challenges, but people can't sense the fact that, that, that I may be experiencing an L? So in that moment, I realized this is a pattern. I realized that, that when I process things, it, there is a method to how I do it. There's a formula here. And I also thought, well, this is a gift. And this is a gift that needs to be shared with the world. So in that moment was birthed the art of taking L's. Now, the art of taking L's is something that, again, I've created. And it's something that allows me to navigate through some of life's toughest, toughest moments. An L can be a loss created through some sort of adversity, challenge, embarrassment, failure. Now, I know that you're asking me, Chanel, who would willingly lean in to some of life's yucky moments? Well, I'm glad you asked. Can I riddle you this? Taking L's is inevitable. In fact, taking L's is what's going to get you to your next level. So I challenge you to lean in and embrace it. Now you can tell by the picture, taking L's, look at my face, it's uncomfortable, there's a sense of embarrassment, there's a sense of you might be uh, curious as to why exactly it is that I'm going through this, you might be confused. So we're gonna talk about that. Also in the picture you'll see that although you may be going through things, you can still wear great shoes. You can look good while you're going through, okay? <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you different. So here's a very simple definition of the art of taking L's. And again, I challenge you all to adopt it as your own. The art of taking L's is the basic method for achieving success by altering the way one perceives and reacts to adversity. Furthermore, it is the perspective that some of life's losses create the greatest gains in the future. I want you to just sit and think on that. Now, if you're like me and you need a visual, I even broke it down a little bit further into a formula. It's really easy. Positive perception plus positive reaction equals the art of taking L's. Now, if you are brave enough to adopt this concept as your own. I want you to keep these things in mind. Number one, it starts in the mind. Somebody just point to your mind. It starts in the mind, okay? Train your mind to think positively. The one thing that separates successful people versus unsuccessful people is mindset. The one thing that separates the people who get knocked down and stay there versus the people who get knocked down and get up swinging is the mindset. So I challenge you all to start conditioning your mind so that you too can live the art of taking L's. Furthermore, I want you to really sit and think on this. It is the fact that highly ambitious people are more prone to failure. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but just sit and think about it. Highly ambitious people are usually the ones who raise their hands to accept new challenges. Am I correct there? Highly ambitious people are usually the ones who stand in the front line of trying something new. Therefore, because you put in more activities, you're also putting yourself in the front line of failure. And that's okay, embrace it. You see, let me put it this way because this is my background. The player who's in the game is more prone to injury and fouls versus the player who's sitting on the bench. Now, I don't know about you all, 
but I'd much rather be in the game. One of my favorite quotes is by the amazing Michael Jordan, in which Michael really emphasizes the fact that his 9,000 plus failures is what has allowed him to be successful in his career. So again, I've never met MJ, but I feel like he, he read my book, The Art of Taking L's. I also want you all to understand that rejection is redirection, setbacks are setups, and pain produces purpose. Here's what I mean. Let's say you wake up in the morning, you get dressed, you throw on your nice fit, you look great, you even take a picture for the gram because you look that good. You walk into the office and you're struck with the news that you lose your job. Now the average person, yes, they're going to be sad, and rightfully so. I want you to sit and process that emotion. But if you perfect the mindset, you can start to conceptualize the idea that perhaps losing your job was the necessary redirection that you needed in order to get closer to your purpose. In fact, perhaps losing your job could have birthed a new entrepreneurial grit that you never knew you had on the inside of you. So that's what I mean. Rejection from that one thing is redirection into something. Getting a setback or experiencing a setback may indeed be a set up into your next level. Furthermore, if you're experiencing some sort of pain, it may indeed be allowing you to step into a new purpose that you didn't know you had on the inside of you. So again, if you're brave enough to adopt this concept, I want you to remember that everything that you've been through is designed to give you your competitive edge. I want you to also remember that your L's are designed to get you that much closer to your next level. I want you to embrace your opportunities to fail. And I want you to remember that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You got this. So as you can see, the facial expression has changed. See, this person versus the other person realizes that life is a roller coaster. It's full of highs and it's full of lows. But all in all, you're supposed to embrace the thrill of the ride. And most importantly, wear great shoes. Thank you. <laughs>